Most criminals decide to plead their way out of being arrested by the police. However, what occurs if they decide to confront the police instead? Stay in the car! Stay in the car! Stay in the car! Here are three instances where suspects immediately regretted their decision to fight the police. Let's start with the dramatic case of this woman who, for the most ridiculous reason ever, was put on probation for two and a half years with a potential two-year jail sentence. A group of police stopped a car in Racine, Wisconsin on April 13th, 2021. IT officers expected a straightforward arrest when they discovered that the driver had committed an act of war, but no one could have predicted what transpired next. 82, my driver is McCoy Jones, I believe. Something similar to that, he should have some 99s. Can you run them out? Mr. Jones, please yeah. step out the car. You're under arrest. Step out the car. No, he's not. Stop playing. Step out the car. Stay in the car. Okay, okay stay. Okay, relax. Stay in the okay, car. Okay. okay, I'm getting out of the car, yo. All right, put your hands behind your back, sir. Hey, put your hands behind your back. You have a warrant for your arrest. A warrant for the arrest of driver and suspect McCoy Jones was issued because he had illegally obtained the vehicle from his ex-wife in violation of a restraining order. The officer approached McCoy after seeing the car on the road and pulling it over, removing him from the car and placing him in handcuffs after making it apparent that they had a warrant. To put it mildly, his new girlfriend, Ashley Holly, was not pleased with the police officer's behavior. Really, are you guys kidding me? You guys Stay in the car! Stop. Stay in the car! Stay in the car! Stay in the car! Really? Stay in the car! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Are you kidding me? You have some bitches! I put a guy! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Ashley violently got out of the car while McCoy was being led to the police car, even though she had been told not to, and rushed at the officer. She was swiftly thrown to the ground by another officer, though, and as they tried to handcuff her and restrain her, she bit one of the officer's hands. It took three officers to intervene and subdue her after she started to shake violently and hurt herself. Put your hands behind your back! She, she's what? biting! She's biting! Get my mom, get her. Put your hands behind your back! No! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! I'm coming! No! Stop resisting! Put your hands your back! She bit me. I'm sorry! Oh my god! Please! Please, you hurt me! Please! 401, I got 295, everyone's Please. going down, she bit me. Oh my god! Could you wouldn't let me go! Just stop resisting. I didn't do nothing! All right, you bit me. Anyone, if you got a female you for a certain state, go She tried to pretend to be ill in order to get out of the situation after realizing she had been overpowered. However, it was already too late by then. You arrested me for nothing! You can't get out the car! I don't care. Hey, no, I'm gonna back away from that. Hey, I'll take you to the hospital, man. Hey, I'll bit me. I'm sorry, bro. I'll take you to the hospital, man. Okay, so you don't get to bite people. <laughs> We're gonna roll you over on your side, okay? Hold on, let me double check the cuffs. And you my face. Y'all going down. Cause I ain't got on me. And y'all did this to me? Don't resist. I ain't got on me. Don't resist. All right, you can roll him over. Right. Roll you over. Baby! Just sit I down. need you home. Just stay seated. Baby! What? Please, I need you home. Don't do that. Go home. Baby, please. As the officers were getting ready to search her, she began insulting and threatening them after realizing that pleading would not be sufficient to get her off the hook. However, she was unaware that the search would only make matters worse because police found a crack pipe with a bag full of drugs under her seat in the car and a needle in her jacket. Baby, they my face up their pieces of Stay seated. What am I sitting for? To do what? To come search you. I have on me nothing. What is your name? None of your f***ing business, bye bye and eat, bitch! Go ahead, stand up. You kicking me and kneeing me, y'all some f***ing up the I swear to God. Hey, right. separate, separate your feet, this officer's gonna search you. Yeah, I pissed on myself, rub that. Rub it. Come on, come on. I ain't got on me. Hey guys, guys, watch out, needle cap. 
She has track, she has track marks too. What? What did she say, say? I ain't got nothing on me. I have to check. No paraphernalia, nothing. So break feet. The officers then escorted her to their cruiser, armed with all the evidence. They had no choice but to use force to get her inside because she refused to go in. Baby! They busted my face! Step up for her. No, I ain't going. Y'all busted my face. I need, I want to talk to some sergeant. I'm not the sergeant. Going. Yeah, nope. You're going in the I ain't bed. going in until the sergeant comes. Nope. Nope. Put me on the I'm going to assist you in if you No, don't I'm you. not. Yes. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You guys yep. already kneeled, need me really fucking hard. Ah! You mother I hate you pieces of shit. Get off me, you mother Before deciding to arrest her, the police officers made sure that both her injuries and the officer's bite wound were appropriately attended to. Uh, I got bit by her right here. All right. Oh. Yeah. You had a tennis shot lately? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. I mean, there's a bite. I mean, what do you want us to do for it? Just clean it. Bad at all. I, mean, okay. I guess. I don't know. I, mean, yeah. I got to have it documented oh. for the charges. Yeah. Hey, gentlemen, are you checking out the female half? Yeah. Just be careful. She's got track marks and needle cap on her. You wiggle everything all right? Everything yeah. moves all right? Yeah. Give it a nice squeeze. Yep. I feel like nothing, no, nothing, nothing, nothing right. wrong. Yeah, I mean, as long as you got a tennis shot and everything, yep. that's not I'll bad. I'll probably just so. get a document at the hospital, then right. I can charge her out with it. I'll certainly keep, keep cleaning it okay. throughout the night, the next 12 hours, because people's mouths are gross. Yep. You know? I hear. Right. Cool. Filthy. Thank right, you. That's exactly true. <laughs> nothing else besides the crack pipe. Um, Anderson's in a photograph. We'll collect it. We're going to legally park the car, and then they'll both go to county. Okay. Do you want me to do the stuff since I found it? Um, you can type a sup underneath my traffic stop. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Miss Holly, what? rescue's here. They're gonna look at your uh, scratches on your head, okay? Well, you gotta stay right here, okay? And they need me in my ribs. I'll need to go to the hospital. The officers made the arrest after attending to all of the injuries. She started to play the victim, though, after learning that she was going to jail. My ribs are not scratching. They busted my face. They busted it. They smashed it into the ground. And they, they need me so hard, they made me piss on myself. What, what, I say, what's your first name, ma'am? Ashley. Ashley? I'm going to take some photographs of you, okay? Why? Documentation. Okay, but you already took pictures of his arm. What the hell do you need more from me? It's all part of the same thing, ma'am. All right? Okay, so that little bite causes this? Really? However, officers were not amenable to it. Additionally, Ashley and McCoy were brought to the station to answer to their individual charges. Ashley was charged with felony counts of battery and threatening an officer, resisting an officer, and causing injury as well as misdemeanor counts of disorderly conduct and drug possession, whereas McCoy was only charged with misdemeanor bail jumping and violating a restraining order. She would then receive a sentence of two and a half years of probation with the possibility of a two-year jail term if the probation was broken. Three officers were called to a domestic violence case on July 8, 2020, and upon their arrival, they discovered a male suspect attempting to lie on the grass with his girlfriend nearby. Hey, what's going on? Jesus. All right, come here, come here, come here. Come here, just come here. Come here, huh? come here. Stop, hey, don't, don't come closer here. Don't go closer. What? Don't go closer here. Don't go closer here. I'm All trying right. to see my girl, huh? No, I just saw no, you guys, come on, come on, just talk to me. Hey, hey, I know, I know we just talked, but just let's get over here. The couple had a furious argument earlier that night. His girlfriend was repeatedly thrown to the ground by the man, who also threatened to kill a bystander who had broken up the altercation. What they're arguing. What you guys are talking about? What's your name? Stop! Stop! 
Were you guys the couple from the other day? Did you guys deal with our bosses the other day? I don't know. I'm probably somebody else. Is this your first time in Niles? Uh, no. Where are you from, young lady? Well, I, well, I come here occasionally. I come to the city. Don't make this worse. Well, worse. You Bro. guys are fighting right in front no, of us. No, we're arguing. Just tell me what's going on. We're arguing. I know, but you guys are hitting each other. No, we're, we're not hitting each other. I just watched you guys hit each no, other. Not. Don't get closer. Come on, man. Be smart. Be smart. Okay. Come over here. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. It's all right. Tell me what's going on. So what happened tonight? Nothing. We just got into an argument. That's it. The couple was in the middle of their argument when the police arrived. Both sides, however, denied the altercation when questioned, claiming they were only having a disagreement. Get out of my face, bro. Get out of my face. I'm talking to you. What's going Get out of my face. Tell me what's going on. I'm not. Hey, look. What am I doing? Hey, don't come to me. Hey, hey, big dog. What you guys trying to do, dog? What you guys trying to do? Stop. Just what are you guys trying to do? What happened? Just huh? tell us what's going on. We're trying to get look, your side of the story. You're not, you're not free to walk away. What? You're not free to walk okay? away. Yeah, you're detained. For what? For domestic For batteries. domestic batteries. Hey! Domestic battery in front of you? Yeah, I just watched it. You're a damn lie. What I do you mean? You were on the ground? Ask her. You weren't on the ground after she you tried grabbing her? She pushed me down to the ground. After you tried grabbing her? She pushed me down to the ground. After you tried grabbing her? You just submitted to yourself. That's on a video cam. Yeah. Lock me up, I dare you. I'm gonna sue you guys. Go ahead. Lock me up. Go ahead. Do you want to tell us your side of the story? Go ahead. Just no, I'm, go I'm, 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 I'm. Go straight in cuffs. I'm not, I'm, 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 come on. Let's get it go. Let's get it going. Come on. Do you want to tell us your side no, of the story? No, no, no. I'm not saying that's Go ahead. You said you have what? No, you said you have what? Go ahead. Lock me up. We have proof of me putting foot. Okay. Okay. I'm being detained. You're being detained. Hey, babe. Okay. So will you please have a seat? You're being detained right now. Okay, I just gotta put my hands on you. You never told me I was being detained. You are being told. No, no, you never told me I was being detained. Stop. 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 Hell no. I'm telling you right now. No, you're being I'm telling you. Stop. 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 Stop.
I'm not doing nothing. Yes, you are. I'm not doing nothing. You're going to break my leg. Ah! I just got into. Ah! You're resisting. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. How? I'm not doing nothing. My hands are behind my back. My hands are behind my back. My hands are behind my back. You got it on recording. Look what they're doing in my hands. Man, please. Sit up. When the man realized he might end up in jail, he started crying and tried to win the police over by asking for an ambulance and saying he was having trouble breathing. Officer, please! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Officer! Please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, please! I'm sorry, I can't breathe! I can't breathe, yeah! Please, I need an ambulance, please! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! In the meantime, a female officer had spoken with his girlfriend, who had already started assisting the police by answering their questions in an effort to avoid trouble. Right, now that you're calm, don't talk to me. I'm not calm, I told you I'm not talking to you. Okay, Yolanda. <sighs> okay, he told you the money. No, he didn't tell me. I remember who you guys are now. <sighs> <sighs> okay, so what happened when he tried to grab you here and he threw him to the ground? No, we were both we were both out just pushing each other. It wasn't just pushing like each other. Yeah. Okay. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. I'm alright. All right. You're not injured or anything. No. I'm not I don't injured. see any injuries or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. The police were unsure of what had truly happened between the couple at that point, but when a witness seemed to make a statement, everything became clear. How's it going? Hi. Did you call? Oh uh, yes, sir. Oh, okay. I don't have a cell phone, but I asked one of the guys over there in the car to call. Oh okay. Well, uh, can you tell me what you saw? Well, basically, I was standing over there. I, honest to God, um, I'll tell you, I'm actually homeless myself. Okay. And all of a sudden, I happened to notice like this. Nervous stuff going on right across from the where the barrier is on Dempster, where there's the apartments over there across. You see me over there? Yes. I see. I see like uh, like like there's two people fighting. So I see him and he, this young punk. Yeah. I mean he's like a gangbanger type, you know, tough guy, cool dude type. And he grabs her and he goes and he he, he he puts his arms around her and he picks her up and he throws her on the cement. Okay. And I'm like, I'm like, you know, I mean, he's gonna kill her. I, you know, so I, I race over there. Okay. And I mean, he's, he's coming after me. He's like, he's like, he's like telling me he's gonna kill me. Okay. You know, but I'm not, I'm not. So the male picked but, the girl up and threw her on the cement. He was throwing her on the grass on the cement. He was, he was hitting her and she was trying to get away and he was very violent. She was and, trying to get away. Yes. And I was afraid he was gonna kill her. I mean, if he hit her head on the cement, he could kill her. He was very violent against her. The officers took the man to the hospital and then to the station after making the decision to arrest him. You understand I'm gonna go crazy? You understand? Can you please get me out of here, dog? I didn't do nothing wrong. Okay, I'll we'll take you to the hospital. Uh, the handcuffs are not coming off, bro. They're gonna stay out, okay? And you're still going to jail after the hospital. So what? Whatever these guys charge you with. What? I don't know, let's go. Let's we'll go. take you to the hospital. Right, you gonna be cool with them, man? Bro, I'm gonna make you feel this shit. I'm telling you. You think you're gonna put your hands on me, dog? Yeah. You think so? You think you're gonna make me feel? Take this shit the off me, dog, right now. I promise you, take it off me right now. Before I make you come in. Take it off me now. Take it off me now. now. Take it off me. Take this shit the off me, dog. You're hurting me, dog. You're hurting me. You're hurting me! Stop, stop. You're hurting me! He remained uncooperative with officers even in the ambulance, but they were able to subdue him in the end, subsequently sending him to prison, where he would be charged with resisting arrest and domestic abuse. His girlfriend, meanwhile, was freed and brought home. Luckily, his girlfriend was aware that she shouldn't interfere with his arrest. This is in contrast to the next suspect, who ended up in a lot of trouble after protecting his girlfriend from the police, even though it was clear that she was at fault. An officer was on patrol near a park in La Crosse, Wisconsin, on August 4th, 2022, when he noticed a woman strolling close to the road. He would identify the woman as 31-year-old Carol Venable upon closer inspection and knew that she was facing charges of methamphetamine delivery, so he stopped abruptly. However, he asked for backup instead of disclosing her charges right away to avoid raising suspicions. Corey, when you start me at ATL with Kara Venable at Thompson Park. We just needed a, I think an officer had a question with you about maybe like a theft or something. I'm not entirely sure, but can you hang tight the front of my car for me? 
Uh, I can stand right here. I'm not gonna go anywhere. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait till that initial officer comes down, and then we'll we'll figure out the whole situation. Okay. What? I don't. I, I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head. Yeah. Robert, go find the code. She was getting impatient while she waited for that backup and tried to leave the situation. Additionally, she called her boyfriend, 23-year-old Dakota Gallette, who came on his bicycle and tried to scare the officer into letting his girlfriend go because he thought her charges were unfounded. I, I wish I knew, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not the investigating officer entirely. Baby, come here, come here. After some pen, in case I'm not entirely sure, I still have someone needs to talk to her, or an officer needs to talk to her. So. So was it just going to be a ticket against issue then? I I have no idea. So when did when did this yeah when did this, when did this theft supposedly happen? Because I haven't done or gone anywhere. I'm not the initial officer here. Okay, and I probably misspoke on the theft, but someone needed an officer needed to talk to you. So. That it was misspoken on a theft. I misspoke thinking it was a theft, but an officer needed to talk to you, Kara. So, so let the officer talk to you. That comes out. I'm trying to explain it. You're not telling me though. You're telling me you think it's a theft, and now you don't know it's a theft. Right. I, I just explained that I misspoke. How is it okay, so then she should be so free to go. Home. That's not how it works at all. So yeah, how yeah. is it then? How, what is it then? If it's not a theft. You're what not is free to leave. Is she under arrest? Am I under arrest? Is she under arrest? She's not free to leave. You can't leave. Am I under arrest? Not yet. You're not free to leave. So then she's free to leave. She's not. If she's not being arrested, she's not being detained. She's detained. I just said she's. You just said it. You just said she's detained. I said if she. Ask them what right. it pertains then? When it gets For here, yeah. Why don't you just ask them over the radio? Give you me a second, Kara. Come on now. No, because I've been asking you for the past five minutes. I've been standing here with it pertains. Right. And then you tell me it's a theft, and now you're telling me you don't know if it's a theft? You don't know what the f*** is? True. Why would you Got sit here and lie? Luckily, backup would show up just in time, and she was immediately informed of her charges, which allowed the officers to arrest her without any more problems. What does it pertain then if it's not a theft? Okay. So like I said five minutes ago, I misspoke. Huh? What is it then? You have pending charges for- Excuse me, no, no, no. Back up! Okay, Back up! You're under arrest, Kara. You're under what for? Arrest. What for? 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 Caro made the decision to make a scene after realizing she was in serious trouble. Dakota foolishly jumped in. Even though he was aware of the seriousness of his girlfriend's crime, he initially disobeyed the police's orders to stand down. Why am I being arrested? He kept trying to keep her from getting arrested. At that point, the police had to physically restrain him, knocking him to the ground and then taking him into custody. Dakota kept screaming and kicking even after she was on the ground, and she kept threatening to sue the officers. Nevertheless, Kiara had already acknowledged the gravity of her predicament and begged Dakota to relax. However, he just refused, thereby putting himself in a worse situation. Put your hands behind your back, you're getting it. Stop! Stop! Just let go! I let go when you guys told me to! No, you didn't. Bullshit! Can you sit up? Bullshit! Can you sit up? Bullshit! Review the camera set right now. No, before I go anywhere, right now. That's not how. Yes, it is. Yes, it's still all uploaded to your computer. I know it. No, no. Before escorting Dakota to their parked car outside the park, the officers helped him stand up after deciding they had had enough. Yep. Hey, relax. I was no. here, man. I wasn't here. You're just gonna get more charges. Just relax. You're just gonna get more charges. You're hey, stupid, you stupid pigs. Chris, grab my phone. Baby, please stop. No. 
with my property. Oh, stop! No, you can off. Come back up. You can off. Come back up. You got any needles on here? I gotta search it. Hey, big, big nut! All right. You are resisting. No, you're successfully hurting me. Get back on you, okay? Find some more drugs here. Stop. Dakota, stop! Dakota, stop! My car's over here. Dakota, stop! Nothing incriminating was discovered during his search. Kara, however, caused a stir when the officers tried to search her, claiming that a female officer should perform the search rather than the male officers who were there at the time. They're not putting hands on me. I want a female officer. I want a female officer. All I'm searching, Kara, all I'm searching is your pockets. You pockets. will give me a female officer. Don't help me, me, God. I will snap. I want a female officer. Don't touch me. Can you get a search of the back pockets? Don't touch me. Just I relax. Got on me, you stupid pig. Just gotta relax. Hey, she has a female officer! No, she doesn't. Bull it's not a law. It's not a law. It's not. I want a female officer! Just relax. 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 Just Karen, can you scoot back You're not bit? touching me! I said you're not touching me! Don't touch me! The, the people who had gathered at the scene were upset by her actions and tried to block the arrest by insisting that a female officer conduct the search. You have to wait! Do you fucking wait for a police, uh, a there female no, police officer? There's no female officer on. And that's not a law. It is not a law. Yeah, there's no female officer on. Can I at least get my phone back? She has to get it. Okay, we well, gotta wait till they handle it. I need you to stay back, okay? We have female police officers. We don't have any on today. That is a law. It is not certain female. It is not. Yeah, it is. Trust me. Because you're wrong. No, no, no. no, no. I, it'll be things today. Hey, it'll be handled. Hey, it'll be handled. We don't know that. Come on. However, the officers were able to regain control of the situation and carried out the search. Surprisingly, they found nothing that would implicate her. However, because of her prior charges, she was still taken into custody. Don't touch me! Okay. Throw that in the back, we'll go. So two are in custody. We tried to take Karen into custody for a bunch of charges. Her boyfriend got physical with us. Then people tried to step in, they both hit us. They hit you guys? Kara kicked both of us like 50 okay. times. Oh. You okay? Yeah, we're fine. So all officers are okay? Yep. It's me and Colin, but that's okay. Dakota persisted in yelling and threatening the officer on the way to the station. The officer, however, was unfazed and proceeded with the trip without responding to any provocation. Irritated by the lack of focus, Dakota went to extreme lengths and feigned that she needed medical attention. But as soon as he got to the hospital, he would quickly clarify that he was kidding and was all right. I request medical attention too. My ribs are. 
You're requesting medical attention. Yep. Okay. okay. For what? My ribs. Okay, you want to go to the hospital? Me up. Yep. You want to go to the hospital? Before I got in here. I, I said we're ready. Time. You heard me. Okay. Yeah, no ready, Joe. You jumped us, man. Huh? I wasn't in cuffs. When you choked? No, I wasn't. It's all on camera, too. It sure is. You are nice. You're on the outs. I hope you know that. That's a felony. No, it's not. Please threaten the law out. enforcement officer. That's all we need is cooperation, Coda. Cooperation for what? But you're fighting with us. That's wrong. not going to let go and you guys slam into me. Which nope. pushed me to the ground. You yes. got taken to the ground because you got No, I wasn't. I literally manner. let go. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. Oh. It's all on video, bud. Uh-huh, it is. We pushed you back like 10 times and told you to get back. Okay. That's why I didn't even need to come here. I just love wasting you guys. It's your bill. Because no, I, I refuse medical attention. You don't want medical attention? No. I just love wasting you guys. We're already here, so you're good. When they finally reached the station, the two were confronted with separate charges. Carol would face misdemeanor charges of resisting arrest, disorderly conduct and possession of drug paraphernalia in addition to felony charges of battery and threatening a law enforcement official. Dakota, however, was charged with misdemeanor counts of resisting arrest and bail jumping in addition to felony charges of battery and threatening an officer. By posting bail with cameras set at 1,000 and Dakota set at 500, both were able to obtain their release. 